Hey, oh, look, that's much better. We're going to say third time's a charm this morning. Hey, what do you do? You just keep trying, right? That's all. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning. Thank you for being here. Just to make sure, when you hop on, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you can hear me okay. Because the first two times, not so happy to start this morning. But hey, like I said, that's fine. We can work with it. There we go. All right, I got a good thumbs up from Eric. So thank you so much for being here this morning. It's an exciting day around here today. I've got a nice, big, fat, juicy announcement to make kind of toward the end. We'll get to that in just a minute. It was the weekend. Had all kinds of interesting stuff happen over the weekend. Oh, I'm sure everybody will want to know also. My office assistant is here helping me again this morning. Uh, maintaining high levels of energy with me this morning, so I got lots of uh, lots of interesting feedback and comments last time she joined me on the show, so uh, I just wanted to share that. Good morning, Keith. Good morning, Jeremy. Uh, Keith, if you could send me your email address in that mess in the message you sent me yesterday, just send me a private message with your email address. I've got something to send to you. All right, so this morning I want to talk to you about long-term versus short-term thinking. I had an opportunity to have this conversation over the weekend, and um, <clears throat> and it gave me it just gave me pause to think about some of the things that go into our long-term versus short-term thinking. Short-term, it's very easy to say, "Oh man, I could have another donut." Oh man, I can hit the snooze button one more time. Um, because that's short term. It's what I've got to do in the next five minutes, not what's going to pay out for me over the next five years. And it's those things where we run into the loss of or lack of motivation, typically because of the size and the scope of the project that we're trying to... Now, there she goes. Now she's up and about. Sorry. Sorry because of the size and the scope of the project that we're undertaking, right? If we want to lose weight, we might think, hey, i got to lose 20 pounds. That's a lot. If I want to uh, start a new business and add a 1,000 new customers, man, that's a lot, right? So we see those things as really big. That's ah, not something I can knock out today. I'll just worry about that tomorrow. But here's the, the problem with that thinking. Pennies make nickels, nickels make quarters, quarters make dollars, right? Everything adds up uh, one to another to another. Every day you don't hit the snooze is one day you get that five extra minutes to work toward that goal. Every time you don't have any donut, the extra donut, it's one more step closer to that goal. So. It's not long-term or short-term. It's both. So your short-term thinking and your short-term actions equal your long-term results. Let me say that again. I think that's, that's pretty important. Your short-term thinking and short-term actions equal your long-term results. You can't separate those two and say, yeah, I'm going to have, you know whatever, whatever the goal is, but I'm not going to do the day-to-day -day work that it takes to get it done. Those two things just don't go together. Now, how do we maintain, this is the question though, how do we maintain those day-to-day -day actions that get us to the long-term goal when sometimes they suck? Let's just be honest about it, right? Part of the conversation I had to have this weekend was that, you know, the, the long-term result that I'm after requires short term, some short, some very difficult short term decisions. And so, um, how do you do that? How do you make those short term decisions that benefit the long term when they are about to pay off immediately? Well, the very best way, the, 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 in fact, I don't know any other way to do it, is to maintain that vision of what the long-term result is. Understand what your motives are. You know, we talk about motivation a lot. Well, the root word of motivation is motives. 
What's the motive behind this action that you want to take? If my motive behind taking this action is to achieve this result, right? then that's what I have to keep out in front of me. I have to remind myself of the reward. And as I pointed out to you a couple of times, if you can live in that moment, even for that five extra minutes that you hit the snooze button for, right? take that five extra minutes, grab your cup of coffee, sit in your big red chair, put your headphones on, close your eyes, whatever you do, and think about, live in, experience a moment of that long-term result. That makes it real. And that, and especially if you do this first thing in the morning, it sets the basis for your whole day to move forward. All right, that's run, man, that's running a lot longer than I intended already, but that's good stuff. I hope you guys are enjoy, <coughs> in, uh, enjoying that, getting something out of that also. All right, so I said I had a big, fat, juicy announcement. I even have a graphic for it. How about that? So I told you on Friday that if you're not following me on Instagram, you should, right? I'll probably say that every Friday. This Friday, if you were following me, it really paid off because you've seen this graphic already. And I'll scoot over there so you can see that. Over the weekend, I put out the super secret early bird access to my latest product called Fast Five. Fast Five is the five steps you need to take to create any result that you want in your life. Uh, it's a more in-depth discussion, exploration with worksheets and videos and the whole nine yards uh, on the topics that we talked about last week. Really good stuff. Until noon today, uh, I think it's noon today, yeah, noon today, uh, I've got the early bird pricing set to, uh, to go away at noon today. You can still get it uh, at that reduced rate, $47.00. Uh, and then after that goes up to 97. So go take care of that uh, as soon as we get off here. Hey, I'm talking. The uh, the URL for that you can just go to tomrigsby.com. There's an icon up in the top right corner, or you can go tomrigsby.com/fast5, and that will take you there. Also, all right, that's it. That's the big fat juicy announcement. Go check that out. There's a, a uh, another video up there for you. Also, all right. Okay, that's it for this morning. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Remember, if you know a business owner, leader, or executive that could benefit from these types of discussions, the time that we spend together every morning, I would appreciate it if you would share this video with them. They will appreciate it as well. All right, I think that's it. Yep, that's it. I'll spend a few minutes in the comments after we're done. You have a marvelous Monday, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.